Hi, my name's Cameron from United Pop in Melbourne. This is a brief introduction into using GarageBand to create soundtracks for your videos. GarageBand comes free with many Mac devices and is a light version of Apple's Logic Pro that we teach here at United Pop. I hope you enjoy this brief introduction. We begin in GarageBand with an empty project. This is going to create a brand new file for us that we can add sounds to. When it first launches, it asks you to choose a track type. We'll choose software instrument. Other options are analog sounds such as audio or a guitar or a drummer. Uh, you can add those later on if you need to. When you first come into uh, the GarageBand interface, uh, it'll probably open up everything. We'll come back to the keyboard later. Um, you'll also notice that we've got this quick help button on. What this means is whatever you roll over, it will give you a description of what it is. It will be a bit distracting right now, so I'll turn that off, but you can do that when you first start using the software. You have a library to the left. It's a software instrument, remember, we're using. So there's all different kinds of instruments here that we can also change into different kinds. Here's the instrument itself and where it is you can layer instruments here. Uh, this is the timeline where the notes or sounds will appear. And down below you have controls for this instrument itself. We don't want them right now so I'm going to turn those off by double clicking on it. Or you can also click on this little smart controls here. Let's save this file. Let's now import a movie to do the soundtrack to. File, select movie, open movie, and select the video you want to create the soundtrack for. You'll receive a preview window here. We'll close that down and see that it's in the timeline above, which is good for spotting or particular images where you know a sound effect should occur. For this video, I'm going to select a different instrument. I'll choose synthesizer, pad, and I'm going to select drifting away. Let's bring back our keyboard by either selecting Window, Show Musical Typing, or Command K. Let's test out the sound there. You can edit these sounds, double clicking, and that will give us these different options. Each instrument has its own controls and different way of working uh, and you'll have many hours exploring the different options there. And now let's record this instrument to the soundtrack. First of all I'll close my library down so I have more room by clicking on the library button. Next notice the record button here. This will arm this track and means as the time as the playback head moves through the video it will add sound. I've also selected here an intro a count in of one two three four there's also a metronome which you would use if you're trying to do things in time but I'd just like a one two three four to get me in I press record two three four and I'll add a note. Keeping it very simple, just to provide atmosphere to the image. You can watch that if you like by rewinding, clicking on the thumbnail and pressing play.
We're now going to add a looped beat. Loops are really handy. They're pre-recorded or pre-digitized pieces of music or sound that you can repeat and time in with your video. I'll close down a couple of windows here. First of all, the monitor. And also, I don't need these controls anymore. I'm going to go to the right-hand side to the loop browser that you can see here. And this opens up all kinds of options. We will be selecting beats, but there's many, many more. And I'm going to choose this deep freeze beat. You can have a listen to it just by clicking on it. And I drag this into the timeline. It adds a track automatically. Turning off the loop. And now, as you notice, when I move the cursor to the top half of the sound, it gives me a little loop icon. And below, it'll just give me ones where I can stretch it out if possible or shrink. I want to loop though, and I'm going to loop this, let's say about one and a half times. And let's drag this so it begins somewhere about there. Let's have a listen to that, see what that sounds like. Okay, now it's time to add a sound effect. You can import a sound effect by going directly to the file in the Finder window, locating the sound, I'm going to use this cartoon voice, and drag directly into the timeline. Going back to GarageBand, you can listen to it. And away we go! Now, that sound effect can be placed wherever I like along the timeline. I'm going to leave it there but I'm going to do something a little bit special. I'm also going to add an effect. By double clicking on the track again, you open up this panel and you'll see here that you have effects, output, EQ, many options again. We're going to use the effects panel. I'm selecting the master echo and this ultra dub effect. Something else you also need to do is make sure that that echo level is turned up and I'm going to take it to about 75%. Let's have a listen to that. And away we go. And let's see that's what that's like with the image. And away we go. Okay, let's check our mix and our volume levels and then export this as a movie. Generally speaking, I would suggest exporting the audio separately and re-importing into your video editor. But for today, let's complete it all in GarageBand. Firstly, we're going to select to show automation. We can do this by going to the mix in the menu and selecting show automation. You can also press A on your keyboard. What this will do is toggle you in and out of that automation mode. You'll notice in this top track a yellow line. This is the volume level. I'm going to add a keyframe by moving the cursor over that yellow line and clicking and adds this yellow dot. And I'll click another one at the end of the movie and then drag that down to the bottom. I'm happy with the beat ending abruptly there. This echo on the third track will have stopped. One thing you want to check for is the volume levels you, overall. You don't want to ma have the master volume clipping into the red or even too high in that yellow. So let's go and click play. And away we go. 
and you'll see that that audio level's hitting up relatively nicely at that point there. And stops there. Excellent. We're now ready to export. Press File, Movie, Export Audio to Movie, and I'll export this at HD 720p. Abstract Video, Audio, and hit save. And away, and away we, we go! go. go.